Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're working on the Frigidaire Pro Refrigerator. We're going to show you the service mode and error codes for this model. But don't worry, if this is not your model, this service mode will work for all other Frigidaires, like the Frigidaire Gallery. So if your display is on the inside door or outside door, this video is for you. Okay, let's activate the diagnostic mode. You're going to hold the freezer plus and the negative down for 10 to 15 seconds. Once in diagnostic mode, the light on the inside of the refrigerator will turn off. Okay, great. So now we're in diagnostic mode. Now you're going to press the plus button in the refrigerator section of the display. You'll keep on pressing the positive and negative to go up and down through your test. So we'll press up. This is test mode 28. Test mode 28 is the dispenser paddle, paddle test. So once you press this paddle, It'll turn on and off so once you press it it'll say on and then it'll say off when you release okay so as you can see if you press up and down you can go back and forth through the test these uh, bottom buttons don't do nothing so we'll go back to test 34 test 34 is the ambient temperature this is the outside temperature of the refrigerator uh, as in this house at the moment it is 80 so this is reading accurate Okay, test mode 46. This will test the humidity uh, around the refrigerator. Okay, let's move to the next test. This is test mode 36. This is the ice shoot door test. So once you hit this, it should say open and close. Okay, test mode 47. This is the dispenser heater test. To activate this, you have to press the power on and off at the upper left right here to activate it. So as you can see now it's off. So we'll go to the next test. Test mode 66. Uh, this is the dispenser light test. You also have to hit the, the on and off button at the upper left display. Okay, these next tests like minus 5, 0, and 6 we will pass because those are kind of some firm software. So test mode 2 is a defrost heater. You'll press this button here to turn it on and off and you'll activate the freezer defrost heater. This defrost heater test would be a good test if your fresh fruit section is warm and your freezer is working okay. And also check to see if you have a layer of ice behind the back wall in the freezer. Okay, test mode 8 is the water valve test so the doors will have to be closed and then when you press on make sure you have a cup underneath to collect the water okay test mode 10 test mode 10 you have to turn it on and off here to test the auger motor test mode 11 test mode 11 is a cube crush solenoid to press it on or activate press on and off the door must be closed do not leave the solenoid in activation state Test mode 12, this is the condenser fan motor test, so if the side of your refrigerator is warm or the freezer is really not cooling that well if your ice cream is a little soft, this would be a great test. You can turn it on and off by pressing the on and off button right here. Test mode 43 is a molar heater test. This is a test I would activate if I had a lot of condensation inside my fresh food section. Test mode 38. Test mode 38 is a compressor test, so if your unit is not cooling at all, more than likely it's the inverter itself and not the compressor. So you can activate this test and A, see if your compressor is turning off, not do an inverter test. I will try to find a video to link at the end that can show you how the test is. So as you can see here, I turn it on and off by pressing the on and off button. Test 13. Test 13 is a fresh food light. So basically just turn on and off to see if it works. Test mode 15. This is a very popular test. This is the test for the evaporator fan motor. So say if your fresh food section is warm and your freezer is uh, a little warmer than usual. You can activate this test and you can press the power on and off to turn low fan speed and high fan speed. The common error code for this is S-Y-E-L. So if you have this on your display, more than likely it is your fan. So this is a great test. Okay, test mode 20. This is your freezer LED light. So turn it on, 
to see if it lights up and off to turn it off. Per fairly simple test. Okay, test mode 22. This is the damper, so CL means close and OP means open. So if your fresh fruit is freezing or if your fresh fruit is completely warm, it could be your damper that's not opening. So this would be a great test. Okay, test mode 23. This is your fresh food door. So say if your door is, or the main control board is thinking the door is open, obviously the fan will not activate. So this is a good test to see if it's opening and closing correctly. Test mode 24, this is a freezer door test. This is also a good test to make sure the door is opening and closing correctly. Test mode 26. Test mode 26 is the ice maker defrost. That's correct, it has a defrost heater in the ice maker. Okay, test mode 29. Say if your display reads 69 there and you actually know it's like 90 and it reads SH or OP, that means it's shorted, or if it just reads completely off, that probably means you have a bad thermistor or main control board. Test mode 30, this is a freezer thermistor. Same concept, if you know it's say five degrees and your thermistor is saying it's 30, that's a problem. This is your ambient thermistor, MPC thermistor. I guess they have a thermistor near their uh, main control board. So it reads 85, that's about right. Test mode 39. Test mode 39 is another thermistor. This is evaporated thermistor. This one can cause problems if it reads off. So if you know in your freezer it's 5 degrees but it reads uh, 40 degrees, obviously that's a uh, big problem there. So that's pretty much on all the service test modes. So you'll just press the plus button on the refrigerator part of it right here. Just hold it down 10 seconds. And then the LED light will turn back on. That means your refrigerator is out of service test mode. So let's get started with error codes. Let's go over all the error codes and what they mean. So if you read OP on top and nothing at the bottom, this is your fresh fruit thermistor, meaning it's open. OP at the bottom means that the thermistor is open for the freezer section. SH at the bottom means the fresh fruit thermistor is shorted. SH at the top means the freezer thermistor is shorted. SYCF, this means the main control board is having a communication problem with the UI on startup. SYCE, this is a communication problem after a few minutes. SYEF, evaporator fan fo motor failure, common code. So let's go over the ice maker test. So to activate this test mode, you'll hold these two buttons down for 10 to 15 seconds, the two plus buttons. Okay, at this moment, you can move up and down moving these two buttons to move through the test. Test mode 52C. This is a ice maker thermistor test. This thermistor actually connects to the ice maker. If it reads OP or SH, that means it's open or shorted. Or if it says five minus five, but you know it's 30 degrees, that's either a problem with the mister or the main control board. Test mode 55C. This is a water valve test. This actually shoots the water to the ice maker. So say if you have an ice maker that's twisting, but you're receiving no water, this would be a great test. Test mode 57C, this is the evaporator fan test for the ice maker, so you can turn it on and off by pressing the button. So say if your ice maker is really not getting that cold to produce the ice, this would be a good test to see if your fan is working that which moves the ice from the freezer to the ice maker department. Test mode 5AC, so if your ice maker never gets in the home position, it will never ask for water, which then you will never have no ice. So say if you have no water in your ice tray and it's kind of crooked, more than likely this is your test and then you have to replace the ice maker if it fails. Okay, test mode 63C, this is a twist ice tray test, I guess you would call it. So say if your ice maker is uh, not twist in this would be a good test to see if it twists in diagnostic mode if it does twist and makes a lot of cracking sounds or doesn't go into home position like the previous test more than likely you have a bad ice maker well i hope this video was helpful please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos we definitely appreciate your support and thank you and have a good day